This is our motorhome, which is a Swift Royale, as you can see, 2.5 TDI uh, cab, Fiat cab, which we call Ermintrude because the registration is KOW. Now we're off to France in a couple of weeks, so uh, for a while, and we hope to be doing quite a bit of free camping. Uh, so I am going to fit a solar panel uh, so that we can keep the the uh, leisure batteries nicely charged. So I thought I would just do a short video to uh, demonstrate how I'm going to do that after some extensive research on the internet. Uh, not much there really, so I'm going to do it from scratch. Okay. <laughs> First of all, you've got to choose your panel. So um, I'm not going to go into the detail of that because there's plenty of stuff on the internet about how you choose your panel. But um, and probably the best is the Caravan and Camping Club. Uh, that's certainly why I looked at it. We went for 100 watt, which is what you can see there. Uh, you'll also need brackets, which um, obviously hold the panel to the roof. Um, and then you will need uh, this kind of cover thing which is used to take the cables from the solar panel through the roof of the caravan. We've got a double one, obviously the cables go through there. Uh, you need bolts to fit the brackets, the corner brackets, to the panels. Um, I went through several different types of bolts until I got ones that uh, fitted properly. I've got stainless steel button heads with a hex head in it. These are M10, 35 millimeters long, which seems quite long, but you've got quite a thickness of corner panel and bracket to go through. And I've also put uh, washers, probably unnecessarily, and a lock washer on there. The reason I've gone for a button head is because it's very difficult to get the uh, socket into the cutout in the, uh, in the bracket. Now you can get, um, long brackets which fit along the edge of the panel there. I haven't got the room to do that so that's why I've got the corner brackets. There's also edge brackets which you can see there but I'm not going to use those, decided it's um, probably an overkill. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the corner brackets and as you can see I've already fitted one of those, or sorry all of those. Um, the brackets come uh, as a pack of four uh, the hole that you can see there is not drilled. I've drilled that hole. So what I did was, um, first of all, uh, made sure that the uh, when I drilled the hole through the side panels, the aluminium there, you can see them, that I had plenty of room to put the, to put the uh, nuts on the other side without fouling the underside of the panel. Uh, and then uh, measured that onto the, onto the corner bracket. Uh, so that I was in the right place. So you can see my marks I've done on that one. And then to make my life easier, I just cut out of a milk carton a kind of little template, which I could then do on each of the other ones. As you can see, the little hole I drilled in there sits in the centre of the hole and uh, just use a Sharpie pen, mark it through the hole there on each of the other brackets and you've got your holes all marked up ready. Um, then where the uh, mark is on the bracket, just tap that with a uh, with a center punch, go through with a pilot drill, um, and then do the pilot drill holes in each of the four brackets. Put your brackets up against the side there, so you've got them in like that. Hang on, let's pull that on there. Put them tight in there, and then pilot drill through the pilot hole you've made in the bracket, and go through, drill through the aluminium, um, aluminium frame. So you should end up with a solar panel with uh, two, four, six, eight pilot holes drilled through, and you should end up with four brackets with eight pilot holes drilled through. You then have to uh, drill the clearance holes for the, for the, uh, for the bolts. Um, now I think with the M10s that I've got, that's eight millimeter. Um, I'll check that. It sounds like it should be 10 millimeter. I'm sure it's eight millimeter. Um, so uh, then you go around all your eight holes and drill the holes completely through. Um, the reason that you don't do one bracket in a turn is just a bit easier to do that, obviously. And don't make the mistake that I did originally, and that's drill the pilot hole, 
um, through the bracket here and uh, then drill the main hole through because then you have not you haven't got a guide through into the into the um, aluminium uh, frame so make sure you drill all the pilot holes in all the brackets and the frame first the other bits you'll need um, are a solar controller which you can see here this is a double solar controller so that I can charge the leisure batteries and the cab battery. Uh, you can go for a single one. Uh, we, as I said, go for a double one. The reason that you'll need that is because the power output of the panel is not always consistent. And this controls it at about 14 volts, I think. Because um, I'm going to charge my cab battery, I bought some cable to go from the solar controller to the uh, to the, the um, cab battery and also I need cable to connect to the leisure batteries as well right. To stick the panel on the roof you don't drill through the roof unless you got to obviously to stick the panel on the roof What I've got is some seeker flex 512. I'm not sure whether that's uh, There's a better or a more adhesive one, but I was told that that would be perfectly adequate uh, I'm not sure whether I said, but um, there are side brackets you can buy. I've already bought them, uh, but I'm not going to use them because the panel thickness is such that I doubt there's going to be that much flex. So I think that's it, other than the cable that you need to connect the panel. This one already comes with five meters of cable, although many of them don't, so you might need to, to buy that. Um, this one's already got connectors, which I'm going to have to get cut off to go through the roof. But um, if you get a panel with either no cable or very short cable, you'll have to have connectors, uh, obviously to make it longer. And I think that's it, other than to say, of course, you can buy this lot as a kit. Um, I didn't. Uh, I bought the separate bits, A, because it was cheaper, and B, because I, I knew exactly what I wanted. Okay. Um, hopefully tomorrow or over the weekend, I will be fitting it. Thank you.